Last season, Amari Hutchison wasn't an every game starter. Um, he was towards the end of the season. He was brilliant. We saw him play mostly out wide right on the right. We saw him play as a 10. Now they've spent 18 million pounds on him. He kind of has to start. Certainly going to be more pressure on him starting. So where do you see him fitting in? If, and clearly this is subject to change over the summer, that three behind the strike, you've got Broadhead left, Chaplin center, Burns on the right. Where do you slot Amari Hutchinson in to there? Because he's going to be expecting, the fans will be expecting to see him start. <clears throat> Long term, I think he'll be a number 10. That will be his, that will be his position. Um, short term, I think we'll continue to see a mixture of him playing in all three of those roles. And that will be horses for courses. That will be game plan related, depending on whether Ipswich are you know, away against Manchester City, for example, early on, I think you'd probably look at using his his work rate and dynamism sort of out wide um, for counter-attacking qualities. Um, and that I, I think maybe on the left, if you're looking at the current squad at the moment, mm. that's where you have a bit of pace in Burns and um, Hutchinson in the wide roles um, for those sort of games. And then maybe in some of the um, inverted commas, more winnable home games is where you have the more of the sort of silky qualities of, of Broadhead on that left-hand side role, which might be seen as a bit of a luxury. His kind of off-the-ball stuff might get exposed a bit more, I think, in some of these um, bigger games. So um, he seemed to get a lot of his goals from that left-hand side role last season, Hutchinson. Um I think maybe maybe that might be the one where he, he gets more game time in in the short term, but you know, ultimately, I think his career arc will, will see him end up sort of be, becoming a number ten. Yeah, where where do you like him most, AJ? Because I think if you if you pin me down and said where do you like to see him play, I think I most enjoyed seeing him as the ten, mm. particularly with with Burns outside him on the right. Um, they were causing all sorts of trouble, and he obviously Amari tends to want to drift to the right anyway. So they were kind of overlapping each other, and um, it was it was it was good fun to watch. Um, where where do you think he fits best? Such a fluid system, though, isn't it? Because you have mm. that, you can then bring midfielders forward. You can have uh, Nathan Broadhead, a natural winger, who then obviously likes to be a bit more narrow, so he can come in. You can have Davis around the left. So much changes. With the systems, you can say, yeah, he's playing as a 10, but it almost becomes a right side of 10 or just players drifting around all over the place. I enjoyed watching him the most as a number 10. And I, I agree with Stu in terms of saying, I think that's probably where his career is going to take him. He's got the kind of the right build for it in a way. He's quite short, but he's so good with the ball at his feet. You're going to get the ball at your feet more if you're playing centrally. He's a good passer. He's got that eye for a goal. And then when he drifts, obviously he can cut inside and, score as we've seen them in the whole games obviously the one that will come to mind so much with that in the short term i do think probably my thoughts been he'll be on the right more than anything at least at the start um obviously that will allow to accommodate connor chaplin in the team if he's going to be a regular starter next season as well i like the idea of and i know that we've, we've spoken about him working with burns but i like the idea of him being that kind of player to take on his full back you've got to handle him cutting inside uh, giving a, a, a left back a few nightmares, having to try and stop those crosses and shots coming into the box. And then when you're knackered, uh, Wes Burns comes on for the final 20 minutes with his electric pace just running at you. Um, mm. It will change game by game, but I'd say in the short term, that's probably the, the move I'd go with. 